Um, actually, I'll start right at the back. How about that? Little 9.8 Mercury horsepower engine. Um, she's just recently been serviced, so she's working really well. Just humming. Got a really nice little uh, piss stream that comes out the back of the engine, as it is a water cooled engine. Um, it's just recently had the tie done for the pull cord, so it's super solid. And it's got a, it's also got the uh, kill switch that is attached to um, a wrist rope. So if you do want to put it in a tender, you can pop it in a tender and um, if anything was to happen, the uh, kill switch would be automatically activated by the, by the wrist rope. So it's also connected to a 15 litre, I think it's 15, either 15 or 20, 15 litre external tank, um, which is really good. The connection system here, I've just changed it to a really solid brass one, as you can see. So that's a really solid connection now, so you don't have to stress about any um, fuel flow issues, etc. Uh, we'll just leave that engine hum for a bit. Um, unfortunately the canoe, not for sale. Now this is uh, just the deck of Bluebell, uh, the, the tiller, just the sitting area etc. Boom, always sails under a boom cover, complete with lazy jacks running up the mast. So just to help you when you're rigging the boat, getting ready for sailing etc, the boom's not going to drop on your head. Uh, moving up the front of the boat. Uh, so it's just the deck area, try not to fall overboard. Um, going up to the mooring, and then straight down below, down here, we have the anchor. So if I just pull that apart, you can see down there is the anchor. It's actually a very strong anchor for the size of Bluebell's boat. For the size of Bluebell, being a 24 foot marauder, I just try to move this yacht so we can move the rope so we can see the anchor and now if I pop it down there you guys can see the anchor quite easily and it is a really good um, strong strong anchor for Bluebell okay so I just pop that hatch back on going up to the front simply mooring bucket and mooring tie off okay the rigging here all the way up the mast etc so this is the um, port side of the boat coming down all the way down to the port side all the way to the back around and then again going up starboard which you just saw awesome so what I'm going to do now is just basically jump in the canoe Hopefully not drop the phone overboard. And just show you from the outside what Bluebell looks like, sorry. Get the camera back up. Okay, so this is the side of Bluebell here. Um, just gonna scoot out a little bit. Side of Bluebell, so recently I have scuba dived under Bluebell. I've cleaned the bottom of her. So ideally, it would be fantastic to slip Bluebell. If you could slip her, spend about 800 bucks on paint and slippage to get her all clean, and I would paint the side again too. That would be a, uh, a really good, good thing to do for Bluebell. She'd be super clean then, and really solid. Um, but at the moment, be it as it may, I've cleaned the bottom, and she is sailing quite well because she can slip through the water because she's got a clean bottom. Everyone likes to have a clean bottom. Okay, so that's the rope. Uh, and that was starboard side of Bluebell's hull. Starboard side of Bluebell's hull. Coming round to port side. Try to maneuver this. Sorry about this. That's the bull pit at the front. Really super solid. Mooring again. I don't even know if you can see. 
it's a dock on my lens. <laughs> ah, here we go. We're back on, we're back on, we're back on. All right. Okay, so this is the starboard side of Bluebell. So, as I said, she does have a very clean bottom at the moment. But ideally, it would be a good idea to slip her. So you can anti-foul her properly. And she'll sit in the water and not have anything done to her for a while. Just be nice and clean. Coming back to the engine, and I can probably show you the engine from the back here too. She's just humming in neutral at the moment. As I said, it's a little 9.8 Mercury horsepower. Just sitting there, right at the back. Comes up and down on this pivot. I use the rope there, just to get um, the engine up and down really easily. And she always lives, the, the Mercury always has a cover on her, a full body cover, when, um, when I leave the boat. Okay. These are the windows. Just one piece of black perspex throughout. They've been recently changed. Both windows here, so on both sides. Just because the other ones were starting to get perish and were a little bit hard to get vision through. You couldn't see through them very well. Alrighty. I'm just going to um, tie up my canoe, my tender again. Hop back on board. Don't really fancy editing this image. This video so I'm just going to post it straight up as it is all right underneath just storage area these hatches here um, need to be put on but I actually have those hatches that can be placed on and same again here hatch area so straight under here this is bluebells cover this is the tarpaulin I just put over the um, the hood area which is here whenever I leave Bluebell, just so that I know that she's gonna stay nice and dry. Ideally, what I'd like to do is take out all these screws here, put in silicon, and put them back in, just to redo it, give it a bit of a clean. It's not a huge job, it's just a job that needs to be done, just to um, seal her all up. She's not leaking, but there is some little bit of condensation coming in that I wanna keep out, so I thought as a, as a good thing to do, that would probably be, uh, something worthwhile all right we'll hop down to the um the the cabin this is the cabin uh, this is the port side of the cabin I've just put in a uh, little um, the baskets just for keys wallet sunnies etc so as you can see it just comes up here um, that's couch one coming up just a basic sink that has no um, outlet it's just basically where it catches water, etc. Coming up to the top, this was normally, did have foam and you could sleep up there, you could put it back in, but I just use it as a storage area. Um, the orange um, bag at the front is just for linen, for so when we come out here and sleep, we know it's nice and clean. In here is just basically an esky that just fits really nicely in um, in the space we have in Bluebell. And back here, I call this the kitchen. It's my little wicker basket full of um, all cooking utensils, etc. And there's my little gas cooker. That's actually the hatch door. Um, that could really do with a varnish and a sand back. Okay, so I'll scoot over and you guys will be able to see um, the the starboard side lounge of, the, of Bluebell. And right here, this is quite important because this is a little table that comes out here it's a little table that comes out and you can put something like that on the table because that's what yeah that's good um that's it really this actually comes all the way out and as you can see down here there's these rails under this mattress here what i have is these um slats so what they do i have five of them what they do they just sit right in here and you guys can see this cushion along the back. Sorry, we're just getting rocked by a little bit of bit of chop right now. Um, what we can see is this cushion on the back will actually end up lying in the middle. So firstly, I'll put the slat down. Then I'll bring the board across, out, lay the board between the slats. And then the entire area 
becomes a bed. That entire area becomes a bed and I would end up sleeping sideways. So head all the way to legs down here and just pop the cushions all the way along the side. So it does make for a pretty comfortable bed. Been quite happy sleeping out here a bunch of nights. Um, probably about all, probably 30 nights all said and told I'd say. And um, so that's it. And then I would just pop the slats back underneath. Okay, so these, these cushion covers right here, this cushion cover would probably need to be replaced. I would just simply put blankets over it when I, when I came out, but each to their own. Um, that one at the back is good. This one here is good condition on this side, but it does have a couple of rips on the bottom side. You can see there, just up there, the rip. I think maybe a bit of a patch could be a good idea. A um, little radio. So, but for music, etc., and for lights, I just use my Yui Boom. It gives a really nice little um, enough music, more than I need. So, I never have it that loud. Alrighty, up here is my lights. I've just had them um, adhesive to the to the roof so that when we um, turn them on at night, it's just a nice little glow. There's actually another one here too. Boom. But it's just actually just um, run out of batteries. So I need to change that. I think I accidentally left it on. Naughty. When I, when I left last time. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, in terms, uh, this is where I'm going to put a 240 volt electric setup. It may or may not be ready by the time I sell it, I'm not sure. But, um, this is just a sort of little basket I've put in there to pop whatever. Down the front of Bluebell, at the very front, that yellow bag there, it's where the sails are. So, um, you've got your storm sill. Yeah, and then a medium sized sail and the large one. We've actually got an extra large one too, so I just call it small, medium and large really. So they're all the sails. And obviously the um, the main sail always just stays on the boom. And I wrap it up and keep it nice and clean and tidy. In this box is just a whole bunch of, um, you know, maintenance things, little bits and pieces. Hinges, sanding paper, extra bits of marine carpet, the batteries I need to replace the light, which I'll do in a second. Um, some extra screws, paintbrush, just very, very um, basic kind of um, maintenance style stuff. And then at the back, in this one, that's all the cleaning equipment, so scrubbing brushes, um, things like that. That um, Sarah loves to use, don't you, Sezzy? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So pop that back, and that's about it. Oh, there's a set of drawers here that I forgot to mention. Just a set of simple plastic drawers. Um, basically, just keep whatever in there, and then um, whatever in there again. So just some easy access drawers, and that's about it. The foam on on the cushions is high density foam. It actually was quite expensive, so it is very um, comfortable to sleep on. Um, besides from that guys, that's about it. That's about as much as I can tell you. I always just use a five litre water tank. I keep it nice and simple. Um, this little Esky I think is perfect for two. It always just holds all the food I need and takes the ice. Um, I always just bring frozen two litre bottles of water out because then when it unfreezes, I just put it back in the water supply, which works quite well. Just use a little gas cooker for cooking, etc. And um, that's about it. So you can see these lights here. These ones, they're not working. And they go all the way around up to around here. But the other ones are working. And that just gives off a really nice little glow at night. Um, that's about all, guys. Got a little knife little um, safety knife strap there got your boat hook that you need obviously to pick up the moorings and uh, there's also an extension here for your engine so for the en engine leverage so you can just um, basically control the power of the engine from standing back in the boat rather than bending down and trying to grab it all the time 
Um, that water tank there is a water tank. Go figure. That one holds about 20 litres of water, so I've always got water out here. And um, just, there's just a marine carpet on the bottom. Oh, under here is basically the bilge. There you are. So it's not super duper pretty under here, but it is what it is. It never gets seen. It just basically will hold any brackish water, such as any condensation or any salt water that's just, um, just gets in all boats it does happen all boats have bilges under here it's all a very manual setup at the moment so I've just got a small bucket in there at the moment it's quite dry um, probably about a liter of water in there that I'll scoop out in a moment and then this just pops back down so you can take the entire thing out the things that I would do to Bluebell and uh, once the electrics are in I'd like to put an electric bilge down there. It's really cheap, it's about $30 from Whitworth or online. Um, I want to put some 12 volt LED strip lighting through here. Whether it will be done at the time of sale or not, I'm not sure, but these are things that I would like to do to it. Um, both on that side and that side, and also the navigation lights outside. At the moment, for the navigation lights outside, I just simply have them in here. So I've got my starboard, my port, and my um, my main light, my white light at the top. And um, that's about it guys. So if you have any uh, questions, just give me a call. I'm not big on emails, emailing lots of information. So just give me a call and um, you can go from there. Thank you so much for watching and uh, cheers. If you're interested in Bluebell, just give me a call. Okay, thank you, cheers, bye, peace.